Hey everyone, it's Tamara with From the Treetop, and I'm coming to you with a video tutorial for my new action set, The Artist Workflow Volume 1, The Texture Series. Um, hopefully this tutorial will help you learn how to use this action set to better be able to master the use of textures in your images. So let's start with step one. Place, blend, and remove. You're going to get a prompt that's going to ask you to choose a texture from your, fo from your folder, then size as needed holding the shift key. Double click when finished. Now before you press continue, um, it's a good idea to have um, placed your textures in a folder that's easy for you to find. So let's go ahead and press continue. And um, I already have my folder uh, with my textures open. I'm going to go ahead and select the Impressionist Depression texture from the FTT Vintage Textures and Overlay Set 2. Click on it, then double click to open it. Okay, so now it's placed the texture on top of my image. The texture does have a landscape uh, crop, whereas I'm working on a, a, a vertical image. So I want to hold my shift key and go ahead and just drag it. And you could also rotate this if you wanted to, but I'm going to drag it because I like for the colors to stay just exactly where they are. Once I have it placed as I want it, I'm going to double click. And now the action is going to play and create several blend modes all on top of each other over here on our layers palette. Um, one of the things that I've always done um, with my use of textures is I never just use one layer of texture. I usually stack the texture on top of itself in a variety of blend modes. And that is really what creates um, the overall most dramatic effect. And this action gives you the option to do that, to just do one layer or to do several. I've also programmed these layers to be in the blend modes at the opacities and at the different settings that I find work best. So um, the default is overlay at 80% opacity. But if you um, notice where the little eye icon is, that would mean that's the layer that is on. You can actually click that to turn it off and um, just turn off and on, toggle off and on all the different blend modes to see which one is the most interesting to you. And again, um, try different layers, try them together. In this case, let's do overlay and linear light. Okay, so now that we have our texture placed, Let's go ahead and remove any unwanted texture from the image. If you look closely, we have some really great texture, but it's on her face, um, on her arms and hands. So you want to go ahead and be able to take that off. And the beauty of this action is that you take it off one time and it will be off in all the different blend modes. So no matter how many of these you choose to use, you do not have to repeat that step again. So in your layers palette, select the layer that says remove texture. Make sure that you have the white layer mask highlighted and then choose a soft round black brush. One of the ways that um, I like to save time is that you can have your foreground and background set to black and white and then just use your X key to toggle between the two so that you're not constantly having to go change the color of your brush. So uh, let's just very gently start removing the texture and um, one of the things I like to do is go ahead and just kind of remove it from all the areas I want. And then using the command shift F key, I can bring up my fade slider and just fade out that original removal a bit. Come back in again at 100% with a smaller brush and complete the removal. That just keeps it from being such a harsh uh, removal with, you know, we don't want any harsh lines. We want the, um, the removal to kind of feather it out, feather into the texture so it looks natural. Okay, so now that it's been removed, um, it's not as obvious in this image, but in some images, depending on the texture, when you remove it, it can remove the great light that the texture gave the image or even a really beautiful tone. So um, if you find that that's the case, you need to select the Replace Texture and Tone, the Replace Texture, Tone, and Color layer. Make sure you highlight the black layer mask 
And in this case, I'm gonna press my X key so I can toggle to a white brush because you always paint white on black and paint black on white. It's pretty, pretty simple. And I'm just going to bring that tone and light back onto her skin. And you know, it's hard to see, but it's definitely warming her up some. And the, the default setting for that uh, replace texture tone and color layer is overlay at 50%, but you could actually bring it up more or down more, or you can, you can change the blend mode. Because for instance, if you had decided to use the screen mode, um, that overlay in your replace texture and tone wouldn't work so great. So you'd wanna maybe change it to screen as well. Um, so, you know, it's really versatile. You can use it in lots of different ways. And um, the beauty of it is that you remove that texture one time, and no matter how many times you change your mind on which bl blend mode to use, um, you don't have to do that work again. So now that we have our texture placed and prepped and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and close that folder and keep it there. I'm not gonna flatten yet because um, keeping that folder open with all those options will help us at the end and you'll see how in just a moment. So let's move on to the next step.